Stacey, today authorities said that Brian Laundrie is the only person of interest in Gabby's case. So their relationship is going to be central to this investigation. And this new body cam video gives us new insight into the couple. Tell me what's going on. He's not talking now, but just days before Gabby Petito vanished without a trace, fiance turned person of interest Brian Laundrie told police his side of the story. This encounter caught on body cam video happened moments after an alleged fight outside of a co-op in Moab, Utah. I didn't get overtly physical. I was just trying to keep her away. And it wasn't like a push and she jumped on me. She was, she was already, she was already, I don't want to, Officers pulled over and immediately separated the couple when they got the call about the domestic incident. Gabby was emotional throughout the hour-long video as she discussed her mental health. You want to tell me what's going on? Yeah, I don't know. It's just some days I'm <laughs> really bad OCD. After speaking with the couple and a witness, officers concluded this wasn't a, quote, domestic assault as much as that of a mental health crisis. Brian had scratches on his face. In the report, the officers identified Gabby as the alleged aggressor and Brian the victim. No charges were filed. Legal experts tell Aid on Your Side this is common when the domestic violence victim isn't cooperating. The couple did agree to separate for the night, Gabby sleeping in the van, Brian getting dropped off by police at a hotel. So under the law, Brian Laundrie has no legal obligation to talk with investigators, no legal duty to help them out. In fact, he has a constitutional right against self-incrimination. And Stacey, it looks like that he is exercising that right. He is. You've watched this body cam video closely. It's a long video, over an hour, you said. Well, now that he's been named a person of interest by police, is there anything in the video that you saw that you think indicates violent tendencies? No, not at all. I mean, she was very emotional, but you saw he appeared calm in the video. Nothing violent, nothing shocking in the video. Officers do notice that he is acting, quote, hyper. That's how they described it. But Brian says that's only because he's talking to police, the flashing lights, he's under stress. And he did say that his heart rate was up due to that, Stacey.